I just spoke to the CEO of Australia's largest solar company, and he said that he's absolutely shocked. In the past, only a few percent of people who actually installed solar would get a battery. So most people get a solar system, a new solar system, and they go, nah, battery, too expensive, not going to do it. Now, the, in, the exact opposite is the case. In fact, many, much of their work is batteries alone for people who have existing solar systems. But now, for people who go and get their first solar system or a new solar system, 99% of them are also getting a battery. 99%. We have never seen anything like this in history. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. If you haven't already subscribed, I'd encourage you to do so. You might as well. Why not? You've got this far. Remarkable rollout. One step off the grid says that home battery installations flew past 40,000 in just 40 days in Australia. I mean, guys, for those of you who don't know, we have a population of only 27 million people, right? And in the last 40 days, 40,000 home batteries were installed. The number of discounted energy storage systems installed under the government's cheaper home batteries program has sailed past 40,000 in just eight weeks since the rebate was launched. And it would have been far more than that if uh, we had the batteries. Many companies have just sold out. They've got no stock left. And also the installers are, are basically backed up for months now. They've got months of work and they can't install any faster. It could have been 80,000 in that space of time. The government thought, okay, $2.3 billion will incentivize people to buy batteries and this 2.3 billion should last about four or five years. That's what they thought. It's going to last probably about a year. Crazy. The number of discounted, as of this morning, 40,000 Australian households have installed a cheaper home battery, 40,004 to be precise, said Federal Minister of Energy, Chris Bowen, announcing the milestone on Wednesday from PV Battery Retail and Solar Hub in Canberra. That's 714 megawatt hours worth of capacity, said Bowen. Now, Bowen says battery rebate buy-in has mostly been an outer suburban and regional story so far where households and businesses are acting to cut their electricity bills at a very significant rate. Some of these Australians didn't have solar panels before and have put on solar panels and a battery at the same time. Some had solar panels, but no battery. Others had a small battery, but have now upgraded to a much bigger battery that properly caters for their needs. That's all good, and it all helps the grid, said Bowen. This is a success story of Australian households, but not just Australian households, small businesses and community groups as well. I have visited small businesses that have put in batteries over the last eight weeks. I visited community groups, surf life-saving clubs that have put in batteries over the last eight weeks as well. Of course, many thousands of homes. Now, guys, I should point out to you that the company that installed my solar system called Resync, Resync Solar, um, they did install a battery here at my home, but they've also, I think more importantly than that, what I wanted to point out was that um, they've been donating batteries to people who need them, to community groups, to surf life-saving clubs, and basically to even to individual people who are just, you know, maybe have had something happen to them that's been a big challenge in their lives. So Resync Solar is the company that, like I said, installed my battery and my solar system, and I highly recommend using them. I don't make any money by telling you this, I'm just letting you know that I reckon if you're gonna use a company, they've got the best reviews of any company in Australia, you might as well use them. I'll put a link in the description below. And the community work they're doing is just insane. I mean, literally giving away, I think millions of dollars worth of solar and batteries. It's massively changing the situation for many community groups and individuals. Now, I think this story is remarkable. It's a remarkable success story for Australia because not only does this mean that people are now capable of basically putting their entire energy future in their own hands, charging their EV, charging their home, yeah? And when the power goes out, they don't have the power go out. You know, you can still run your fridge. You can still do what you need to do. A lot of these batteries, average size is, you know, 20 to 30 kilowatt hours battery sizes, which is quite big you know it's big enough to basically run your household off all the time and 
The other thing I think is if you've got a solar system and you do have an electric car, and many people now, many people, I think most EV owners have a solar system. Then if you do work or if you're away from home and it's sunny, you can sometimes think to yourself, oh, I wish I could charge my car today, but uh, my car's with me. I'm, I'm at work or I'm driving, I'm somewhere else. But if you've got a battery at home, the sun is still re- recharging your battery. When you get home, you can then charge your EV straight from your battery. That allows, that's another way you can save money. This is like complete energy independence. You don't need gasoline, petrol, you don't need diesel, you don't need electricity from the grid. Uh, you don't need gas. You can really, really take your future into your own hands and kind of give yourself that energy security. Interestingly, I often say this, only people who are really rich shouldn't have solar. I mean, people who, I mean, they should still anyway. But you, you're leaving a lot of money on the table if you don't. And now in Australia, with this new government incentives for batteries, and we already have existing incentives for solar, it's never been cheaper. And it's never been a better time to install batteries in solar and just take charge of your own personal finances. Honestly, it's, it's really quite satisfying. And knowing the fact that you can save more than $100,000 over the life of your battery and solar system, I mean, honestly, I think it's going to be closer to 150000 if you consider the entire life. They're now rated for 30 years, 30-year warranties, 30-year lifetime. Over that, that course of that 30 years, you're going to save just a massive amount of money and um, not have to burn fossil fuels at the same time. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. The CSIRO has revealed that the plunging cost of batteries and solar means this is the only option. Renewable energy is so much cheaper than coal. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to have you with us. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Last year in the United States, where renewable energy is actually considerably more expensive than Australia, about 94% of all electricity added to the grid was renewables. Australia is going down the same path. The plunging cost of battery storage has ensured that integrated renewables remain by far the lowest cost for new build generation in Australia. While the Western world's small, first small modular reactor contract has confirmed the CSIRO's view that nuclear is by far the most expensive form of energy. It's extremely, extremely expensive. Now, some people are saying, well, what about, what about the cost of nuclear in China? Well, for one, China is adding very, very little nuclear in comparison to the renewables that it's adding. But unfortunately, the cost of nuclear in China is far lower than anywhere else in the world. And the rest of the world hasn't been able to match those numbers. 